Hello everybody, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. Now this is take three of this card. I um, made this card. This is, oh this is number one. And when I went to make number two, I messed up on these bits here. I didn't cut the right size. And then this is number two. And when I made this one, I messed up on the sticking down of it. And of course I've got glue here where I shouldn't have done. And of course it sticks. So, um, yes, I'm going to make another one, but a different pattern. This originated from a friend called Sonia, who brought a card to our card class. And she made it, but she made it in an 8 by 6 So, and... I said I'd like to make it and she said make it smaller so I did I made it a 5 by 7 which is this one um, but I don't like this because I used the wrong paper on there that should have been a, a plainer paper it's far too busy I think so I decided to try and make a 6 by 4 which are these So I'm going to make another one, except I'm going to change the design. The card layout will be the same, but the papers and the stamp will be different. So to make this, put them all in front of me so I can see what I'm doing, or not doing in my case. You will need two pieces of card. I'm using uh, basic black and it's four by six and you need two of them a piece of designer series paper and I'm using the poppy paper but I'm going to be using the plain red on the back and this is three and seven eighths by four and seven eighths um, you'll need three of these this is the shape we're going to get them into. And these measure 4 inches by 2 and 1 eighth. So it's 2 and 1 eighth by 4 inches. And you'll need 3 of them. Right, I'm changing the look of the front. And I'm going to be using, if I use this one, a piece of red white cardstock at 1.5 by 2 and 7 eighths. And this is two and a quarter by one and three eighths on top, like that, on two of them. So you need two of these red bits. And I have got two red bits. And then with the poppy dies, you get this one here. I have cut out two white bits, which I'm going to lay on top like that. I don't know if I'm going to put them on dimensionals or just lay them on top, glue them on top. And I'll stamp a design like this on them. And the one in the middle I'm just going to leave plain white without the red on it. So it'll be like that. I hope that makes sense. It'll make sense when I get it done. Stamp set I'm using is Painted Poppies. And I'm going to use that one and them little ones. And that little splatter bit. So, to get started we need to make the frame. Frames. So we need a trimmer. I'm going to stand up to do this. Can you see that? Yeah, just. Right. With your piece of card, you need to put it in at half an inch and bring your cutter down half an inch and bring it down to five and a half inches. Turn it round, 
half an inch bring it down to a half an inch as well put it down and bring it down to three and a half inches and turn it and repeat half an inch and bring it down to five and a half inches and then again half an inch half an inch down to three and a half inches and that should pop out she says and there's our frame a half inch frame all the way round put that to one side now with the paper you want to bring it into three eighths of an inch and bring your cutter down to three eighths of an inch I think that's there And come all the way down to five and a half inches. Turn it and do the same again, three eighths. Three eighths and down to three and a half inches. Turn it, three eighths. Three eighths and all the way down to five and a half. And the last one, three eighths, up there to three eighths. And down to five and a half. And then take it out. And there you have your frame, pattern frame, and that will leave you a nice border inside and out. That's that done. Right, for these bits we've got to get it to look like this. So what we want to do is put it in long ways, so it's portrait ways, half an inch. And with this score, you want to score it. And I scored that pretty hard. Now I'll turn it round, put it in half an inch, and I'm going to score up half an inch. Turn it round, but you need to do it that way. Half an inch. So you've got half an inch this side, bring it down, it's hard to see on black, half an inch and score up. Now you need to do the same this way, score at half an inch and go up. So you've just scored a square, you see that we've just scored can't see. Just scored a square. And we're going to do the same here. Half an inch. I can't see that for the light. There we are. And half an inch and up. And that's all we need on there. Just score lines and that. Oh, I never did that one. Right, half an inch, half an inch and up. Same with this side, half an inch and up. You could cut it if you want. I just use snips. Right, just take a seat. 
and with this and your paper snips you cut the right way cut up there and then just wedge it a tiny bit just wedge this a tiny bit both sides same with this one cut up and wedge Turn it around and do the same this side. Cut up and um, wedge. And this one. Cut up and wedge. Then with your bone folder, oh no. Right, now we need to cut out this bit. So, you just follow the score lines up. And cut that piece out. And that is how you should have all your sides. Right, with your bone folder, you want to push all these, not them ones, well yeah they've got to be scored. This one isn't folded properly. That's it. So that's our three flaps, I'll call them, done. They need to be that way. And so, all right, with our two black pieces, we need some ribbon. Now, on this one I added ribbon but on this one I added these tabs. The only problem is this won't go in an envelope now because I've added an extra half an inch, five eighths of an inch on with these tabs. Whereas with the envelopes, uh, with the ribbons you just fold them in and that will go in an envelope because that is the normal size per card. So we're going to add some ribbon I have got some one eighth of an inch black ribbon, so I am just going to make some tabs with that. And cut that off. Once I've cut it, I should measure it. So we want two bits at least three and a half inches long. So, you also need some double sided tape, any kind of tape will do, I've got some red tape here that'll do, and we need two bits of this, if I can find the edge, it's nearly done, there we are. One, two, 
borrow that a minute. My ink pot, just to sit them on it. Right, so we need to find the middle, which is the 8 inch mark here. Oh, you can't see. There. So that is the middle. So we're going to fold this in half, the ribbon, and we're going to place that at the halfway mark. And we're just going to tape it down. Now we're going to do the same with the frame bit underneath. So I've got it underneath there and I've just placed that there so I can guide it. Fold it in half and stick it on the frame. Like that. Right now then, because that's there and you might see it, I have also cut a half inch piece of black card that I am going to pop over the top. This we don't matter because we put a white card on the top. I didn't stamp on that bit there. White card on the back so you can write your message. So we'll stick that on. Need to take this red stuff off and we'll just stick that on there. So this is half an inch by four inches. Right, and then to even the weight out, I have also got a second bit which I'm just going to stick on this end. And that'll just even it out. Not hiding nothing. There we are. And then that will sit like that and you've got your two ribbons to pull it apart right we're going to stick the red frame on now so and make sure you get glue on the outside and the inside of your frame We just want to glue this on our frame, leaving our border like that. And that will sit on there like that. Right, to stick these on, the first bit needs to be up against the edge of the back. And what you want to do is put your frame on and then just pull this just a little bit just a half a sixteenth of an inch if you can figure out what that is just a little bit so that this bit is just showing on the inside of the frame 
So when I put that down, I can just see it there. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to glue these bits, place it down with just a fraction, and I mean a fraction of an inch showing. them on. Now these ones here you push them down the way so they're sitting on top of your card. Put a bit of glue on them and put your frame on top and making sure you line up your frame and it's all square and equal with the back bit and then you just press it down and that's how that works now we're going to do this one. They need to go forward and they need to go down. This one, to measure it, you want to line up this bit with the inside of your frame and you just need a fraction of the inch showing. Hold it in place, make sure it's straight. I'll test that again, in case I moved it, and I did. Can't keep it in place. Right. Now what we're going to do is glue these tabs. It's a bit hard to show you because this is in the way. And we're going to press the tabs down the way. That's it. Right, I'm not going to do the top tabs just yet because we're going to put this one in. That one goes in. And it sits in between the other two. There's a little gap there and a little gap there. Once you've done that, hold it down and glue the tabs that lie flat. Looks like this one might be just a little bit big. It is. I'm just going to trim this. Wasn't quite four inches. Better. 
and that will go down like that and I hope Fits. Right, now then we need to glue these tabs that are folded over <coughs> and making sure they're down and push your frame down on top of them. Sorry about that. And that is how you get your flaps working. And it'll sit up like that. So all we've got to do is decorate. Right, I can see a bit showing through here. I don't know how I'm going to trim that. See the score line there. So we'll cut that like that. And now all we've got to do is decorate. So what we're going to do is stick these red pieces on. Red pieces. Design a series paper. Even a border all the way round. And then we'll stick these on our card. And they will fit, leaving a nice little border all the way around there. So one at each end. fuzzy white bit. And now, once we've stamped our design on there, they will sit on there like that. And then our third white one will sit inside like that. So let's get stamping. Right, I am going to use the flower with the stem, this one, my Memento Black Ink, and I'm going to stamp that on here. I 
like that. Didn't get my cloth out. Clean. Right, now the flowers. Put in a scrap. Screws the mess of my scrap. I'm going to stamp that on there. Like that. And do the same again on the other one. And then we want this little, um, little small splatter dots, which I never got out. And we're just going to stick that just above. And that is the pollen coming off the poppies. And that is all we're going to do with them. Right, need to colour these in. So I'm using Dark Poppy Parade. Just colour all the red flowers in. Or all the flowers red. Very quiet. Well, I hope you're all staying safe inside. I think this is week five of lockdown for me. Cut my husband's hair today. As he was looking like a geriatric hippie. I usually wear my hair short. I tell you, a couple of more weeks I'll be able to put it up in a ponytail. It's a pity hubby couldn't cut her. Get them to cut mine. I wake up in the morning, I look like I've been dragged through a hedge backwards, sticking up all over the places. Oh, I got my stamp positioner. I don't know if you remember me saying for Mother's Day I got money off my girls and I bought myself a Sissix Psychic, a small one, die cut machine. And with the rest, I bought a new, um, a bigger stamp positioner. A Hampton Art one. I'll show you in a minute. Let me finish colouring these. Not used it yet. Right, that's 
them done. Oh no, I need this. I've had a sneak peek at the uh, new catalogue. And this stamp set's in it. Which I'm pleased because I do love this stamp set. As you most probably all guess because I keep using it. Not so much more about it. We'll say a lot of stamps that were in the, a lot of them that were in the spring and summer catalogue have gone into the main catalogue, which is good. Right, leave that there, and while I still remember my big stamp positioner and this size is inside it's a stamping size of 8x8 which I think is quite nice my other one was a 5x7 but at least this one I can do square cards oh. I had to make room for it in my box Right, that's an old one. I don't want that. I want them two and that one. Oh, it's come out. It's not good. Good start, I must say. Put that back on. Right, we're going to have that on there. That's going to go in there. And that's going to go on there. I think that looks quite nice. But what I'm going to do, I am going to put them on dimensionals. That's mini. There's the large ones. Four on each side. Now five. I need one in the middle. Right, and sit these. And this one will lay flat. 
because we've got to put happy birthday on there which we haven't stamped yet but we'll do that in a minute come out quite nice. Right, let's get a scrap of card. I have a scrap of white and I have a scrap of black and I have not got Oh, I know what I was going to try. No, it didn't work. So, I am going to. Hmm. What can I do for that? I wonder. That's a poppy. And if I stamp Happy Birthday out and there and cut it in the shape of a poppy. Oh, let's try that. going to outline it in black but I won't be able to do that if I um, if I cut it out in the shape of a poppy but I like that idea so let me go and get my little machine it's not on the table This is what's called thinking going along. <laughs> right. Got a bit of tape on it. Might not work out, it might be rubbish. What do you reckon? We could always draw a black line round it to give it the illusion that there's black behind it. Yeah, I like that idea and we'll put that on dimensionals I just 
just put two of them on and I put them on the wrong side and we're going to stick that there What do you think? Now stand up like that. Rubbish. Well, there you have it. So we've got a female one. And a male one. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos that I upload. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.